Today we're going to be making these fun hoop earrings with a spike. Here's the supplies you're going to need. Some scissors that can use, be used to cut metal. Flat pliers. Round pliers. Wire cutters. A bastard vial. We're going to be using brass and copper. I made two different types of earrings. I'm using some copper scraps I had here. Some brass wire and some copper wire. We're also going to need something round and a sharpie. I'm using two different gauges of wire here because that's what I had on hand. You'll also need a piece of scrap paper to make a blank out of. So this is what I'm going to use to trace for the spike. And don't forget, I also forgot I need some hole punches. Now back to the blank. So. This is really just a piece of paper I'm going to use to trace the shape that I'm going to cut out of the metal. So you just want to get it to the shape that you want to use. Let's go ahead and do that. Once you're happy with the shape that you've cut, you can go ahead and using Sharpie, trace that right onto the metal to then be cut out. Let's go ahead and start tracing. The metal I have here is a 26 gauge brass metal and you're going to need some pretty tough scissors to be able to cut through this, some sort of shears. I use these Fisker shears that I really like. They're small and easy to use. I cut the base piece of metal out, kind of so I have a little more room to work, and I try to cut in really straight lines and just cut each one of those pieces out and trim off the edges. Once all your pieces are cut, we want to kind of get some of those sharp edges down. You are going to be wearing these and you don't want them to stab you in the neck. So you want to flatten any of the pieces that cur got curled by cutting, the cutting them. And then we want to snip off all of the edges just to make some of the filing we're about to do easier on ourselves. I'm batch making these, so obviously I'm doing more than one at a time. You only need to do as many as you're going to make. But once I have all the corners cut off, I go ahead and take the file and round down my corners so that if they do hit my skin, they're not going to impale me. There we go, that looks a lot less dangerous to have on my body. Let's get ready to cut the hole for that. You'll see I cut this, I've got a hole punch, um, and the first one I just took my Sharpie, made a mark where I wanted it, and since I want all of these holes to line up, what I'll do is I'll use my first one as a guide, and I'll put them together, and then I will make a mark with my Sharpie to then be punched with my hole punch. The hole punch, what I really try to do is make sure that I get the punch area really lined up with that um, dot I've made, and then to center it to make sure it is center, I kind of feel both sides to make sure that it's sticking out an equal amount on either side, and then I rotate it to take it off. Go ahead and do this for however many you're making. Again, I'm doing a batch because I'm going to put some of these up for sale on my site as well as over at the Colorado Feed and Grain where I have some of my jewelry. Then we're going to want to 
go ahead and flatten all of these. Moving these around are gonna have kind of bent them out of shape, so we want them to be nice and flat. Go ahead, I do this with some flat pliers. Now to clean up all our Sharpie marks, we just take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a paper towel and go ahead and wipe that off. It comes off really easy. Next, to make the hoops, we wanna take the the round thing that we decided we wanted to be the shape. You're gonna to wanna to pick something that's slightly smaller than the hoop size you want, because it will expand. And you wanna wrap this around really tight, as tight as you possibly can. And so I need six total hoops, so I'm gonna go around several more times because when I release it, it kind of springs open, so I won't have the same number of rounds necessarily that I wrapped around. So here's our coil. And then we're going to cut these into individual hoops by kind of squishing them together. And then we want it to actually be, the wire to be longer than one hoop around. So it'll give us a little bit of room to actually work with. And we'll cut those each down before we move on to the next step. Here's where you'll see why we wanted it to be longer. So you'll take one end and make a nice round hoop. Make sure to do it off camera so no one can see what you're doing. <laughs> um, but you wanna make a nice round hoop. And then on the other side that is not blocked off, slide on your spike. Make the hoop the size you want it to. Squeeze both pieces together and we're gonna wrap this around several times until it's nice and tight around the base of that hoop, the top hoop. Loop? Yeah, the top loop. The bottom's the hoop. I don't know. Anyways, wrap that around and then you're gonna clip that off once you think it's secure. And then I usually take my flat pliers again and kind of push it down. Then, because we'll have worked with this, it will be a little misshapen, so we want to go back through and with our a combination of our hands and some pliers and kind of reshape it into the hoop that we want. Our final step is to take the ear wires, the little hoop at the base of the ear wire you want to open by taking some round pliers and just opening that area up. And then we're going to slide that loop on. And then we're going to take our flat pliers and squeeze that the hoop on the earring wire closed. And that's it. You're done making these fun earrings. I make a lot of earrings, so it's hard for me to wear all of the earrings that I make, but these are one of the most common pairs that I do actually wear. There's something a little funky, but simple about them, so they match a lot of things, and I like that I get a lot of compliments on them. And here is the copper pair that I actually made as well. This one I kind of like a little more because it does have a little thicker wire on it, but that was just because that's what I had. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.